8. There we go. We started but I'm just gonna quickly players on the and eternal envy for fanatic on the radiant side playing in the live sealer, Abed on the tinker again, DJ on the clockwork, Pilai die playing on the revival with Ohio on the Omni Knight. For the dire side, Mineski, you have Nana playing on the Vengeful Spirit, Hard Carry, Ninja Boogie, Hero, Mush, the Dusa mid, Ice Ice Size on the Brewmaster, off lane and jabs on the Sand King playing that four. One of the good synergies as well between Ninja Boogie and Nana on the bench. Uh, magic Missile, Nukes, Dual Fat, Dual Breath, Liquid. Alright, so there we go. Game 5. Yo, hey chef, you know, you can tell. If anyone's having fun right now, it's Abed. Mineski can't even reply right now. Except for Ninja Boogie, but... Dude, that's, that's the stone cold GLHF right there. That's the one which is like... Yeah. You know, it's like how when you're texting someone, you say LOL. But you're not actually laughing, you're just like... Stone face. What happened? This is what is happening here. Someone had to reply, otherwise it'd be just rude. DJ putting the ward down, should have decent vision. They could think about running an aggressive lane with Nana as well. What they have done before. Okay. I mean, I'm not sure whatever what kind of energy you guys all united, all the weebs just united and just gave to Envy, but Fnatic has taken it, they have received it. All 100% of it. Here we are, but Mineski actually look like they want to fight in the top. That's interesting. Four heroes. Ayoi will be having a solo lane matchup against the Brewmaster. And he will sort of loop around. Might find Pilai die instead. Yep, they need the Burrow Strike. Burrow? Burrow? Oh, he can't find the range. He's up on the cliff, so he's going to be okay. And he's actually going to run away from this. And Mineski will smoke for nothing, trying for a surprise gank. Doesn't really work out in the end. The time. Mushi will still get a bounty rune for his trouble. Nothing out of balance, but Ice Eyes will just kind of full creep waves to his end, leaving Ohio to tank up the creep wave by himself. Heroes will be fine. That's a very interesting matchup between the Brew and the Omni. He has a decent chance. Off lane here, with a somewhat decent rough time. It is two heroes here after all compared to three heroes. Boogie you want to go for? An Arctic Burn, disgusting spell, right? 9% HP reduction. EOT. Nana has lowest base damage, lower base damage at the moment compared to Eternal Envy on the Life Stealer. He will face some aggression from DJ, but I don't know. I feel like Mushi hasn't been able to play as a mid for a while. At least. I don't know, I could be proven wrong because when I, when I last time I played Queen of Pain, he was sick. I will on the top lane first, blood going away to Nana. Jabs still has a bar strike. They could think about going back in one more time. They have the magic missile off cooldown in a bit. And he's starting to heal up. Planning for it. First blood. Nana getting some, some pretty good time. Start out the level 1 boots. Very hard for enemy to catch up with him. Middle lane, you know, the pressure still continues. Our bet is 7 and 3 compared to the Deuces 2 and 0. DJ can't do anything here. Soft lane though. Ohio against Brewmaster. It's a very, very trademark. I would say a very crucial matchup. Very strong rivalry between two of arguably the best off laners in C. Ohio's 4 and 2. Isosize is 4 and 4. The, the denies will start to pile up. To wave out. But it's pretty clear that in this middle lane, 
he is having a very rough time even using the laser to clear out the clarity potion. Yeah, the Medusa lane is pretty much lost. Too much pressure. Alright, so still continue to taunt Ohio's wings. No trouble. Or you know, I mean, this Albert is going to continue to just keep pulling further and further away ahead. Trying to keep stepping back, but not the aggro as it's been pulled. And Nana will just have to last it under his power. Not sure what he wants. Go with the wave, the scream. Wave. That's when you go into the right click for Vengeance Aura. We'll have to see. Like I said, you know, I'll bet he's pulling so far ahead 77. Less than half the CS. The hard game to be a do something. Do a clockwork as well. Going for the bar strike. No damage? I don't think so, actually. We're trying to stack up a bit to do so, but it will be a while before Mushi can actually clear any stacks. Magic Missile to come out, they have the dual breath as well, but Envy, nah, he, okay, he actually still has a skill point which he hasn't used yet, he could use Rage to avoid any magic damage, even... Bottom lane, you know, Ice Ice is getting... Like I said, Omni Knight wins this matchup any day of the week, he level 2 DJ now, he has a Mango as well, he could actually run into this? Miss rate. Oh, Ohio actually getting the kill, but Jabs is coming in as well. Can he get the bar strike? Yes, he can. He needs one more racket. Caustic Finale should finish him off, and Jabs will get the return kill. So not all is lost. So he will get some solo levels out of this as well. And Isis is coming back into the lane. Base created, I guess. Yes, he does. But to heal up a bit. Level 3, he's very far behind to Abed. And Abed will even find the rune as well. 10k versus 8k, right? Radiant Mid player versus safe lane. Top lane, you know, Eternal Envy still 6, 12 to 8 and 4 on Nana. Mineski are actually losing the laning phase. This is cause for worry considering you are supposed to have the heroes which are meant to win the lanes. It's not like they can. Feels like they, they're, they've accepted they will have to play from behind this game. Albert's gonna get a pretty quick BOTs at this rate. Four minutes in, he's already making his way towards that recipe. Top lane, there's a bottom lane. Looks like they've isolated Ice Ice Ice. They have a purification nuke. Can they kill Ice Ice Ice? So double TP's coming in. Nana's coming in as well. They wanna get the kills here. Magic missile. Never mind, DJ's actually gonna get out. Ohio is here to keep his teammate alive. Went for the face boots build. Huge commitment, and they, they still can't get anything from this. Try here for Ohio, but I don't think this is the hero you want to trade hits with. He has to salve as well. He's perfectly fine. Jay just saying hi to saying hi to Jabs. Uh, jabs denying those cogs, tilting Jabs just like that. He's like, all right, no, you're not getting any farm today. Not today, sir. Bottom lane. And I might actually get solo killed yet. He has to stick. Chad at the purification nuke. Nana is dead. And Ohio getting another kill to his belt. Two and one in this lane. Things are a disaster for Mineski at the moment. Leaving eternal. Ayo as well, happy to trade with Jabs. He's like, all right, bro, you wanna come? Let's go, let's go, let's go for the dance. I would dance with you all day. You have the soaring, but over in the middle lane, this is where some of the action's at. Fighting for the top rune, but okay, Mushi will get it. Trying to get hit into Abed. DJ's coming in as well, has the cogs, has the battery assault. Could turn around for Mushi instead. Ice 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 has the soaring but doesn't have enough damage by using the haze. He's gonna chop up DJ going for the slow, but Mushi may actually end up dying here. That's the thing. No way to save him. Rip shards. Mushi ends up going down. Can they find Ice 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 as well? Tinker will actually heal up. And Fnatic. Is this the same Fnatic from, I don't know, a few weeks ago? Doesn't seem like it. This is a, he's, Abed has only been in there for how long, but they're looking like a completely. All right, so Ohio. Remind Ohio. Ohio will finally die here to Jabs as they bring him down. It's a key kill, which should have probably gone to Nana if they could have held it. So 38-16, 35-6. 
surprised that the cores for Fnatic are all on the top of the network chart. Middle lane, they're trying to isolate Mushi out, just burn some of that mana away. Will allow Nana, he needs a bit of free time in this bottom lane. He needs to catch up on farm, you can see bottom half of the net worth. I mean, support bench, right? Kappa. This one, not much you can do. I talked about how the Venge and the Jakiro posed to like sort of try to push the top tower quite early, but in this case, no. I mean, you put Boom Master top, try and stifle Eternal Envy's farm, some damage control, taunting as well, you know, just ice, ice, ice. And once again, they're trying to go here into Ohio. Huge commitment. They have the magic missile stun as well, but Ohio purification up in two seconds. He has the wand as well. Could actually still turn for this heal. Yep. Getting enough damage into Ninja Boogie, tracking inside the cogs, and Boogie will end up going down here. DJ taking hits from the tower. Will be dead. Magic missile, and okay, two kills for one. Losing only the Jakiro, and Nana survived all of that. And on top lane, they're trying for the infest kill. Ice 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 gets out very narrowly. So, what's happening here? Brewmaster's almost level 6. He actually TP'd it out to the Shrine, I believe. Things are not looking good because when your Sanking has higher net worth than your cores, I mean, Jabs can't carry this game as a Sanking, I mean, unless he's a core, right? Such a hard game right now with your Mushi. Abed's doing so well to dodge the Mystic. Kayo back to the bottom lane, happily free farming face boots and soaring because of those kills. 3 to 3, but still top of the net worth. Guardian Angel not yet built up, but level 4 purification, level 4 DJ and aura is something which is not fun to lane against, that's for sure. Playing the creep wave so well. Brewmaster of level 6, they want to try and dive the tower for Arbet, which they will. We need to get the stun here. Ice Path will cancel the TP. Our bet is dead for the count. But Olin may actually get a turn on Primus, but will be used using the Winter's Curse. Mushi is going to slowly take down, but he still has a full bottle. It's okay. They're going to chase for this. They have the Panda. Stun maybe. Cyclone could be used here, but never mind. They actually will back out looking for a Courier instead. Can they get the Courier kill at least? I don't think so. Kalei is actually going to be okay with it. And the Primus split will expire. So, I think it's TP's in. They could think about going for a kill here. But never mind, 5 seconds before he comes up, too long. Over the bottom lane, look at Nana having some Ohio issues. Omni Knight issues. I'll take your tribute. Haste rune for Pylai die. Point. Stun up here, do they have enough damage? I don't actually think they do, they have a swap, they need to use it. <laughs> Nana's way too low, he has one charges. Could think about using but with the Omni Knight coming in, he didn't want to take the risk. Guys are having a rough time against Arbed. Net worth discrepancy a bit too far. And Arbed's gonna have the BOTs in quite a bit. Go back to other items, of course. Top Jab to just farm this creep wave up. Try to get his way to a blink, which he finally has completed. And with that, that could be a big item in the Mineski initiation arsenal where they can actually try to take a fight, maybe even smoke up together with the Kuro. If they need it, will be a big episode in the strike. They are stacking up, it's a triple stack for Mushi so he can come back. Like I said, the theme of this game is combat gaming. Radiant using the scan, will find Ice Ice Ice. Doesn't have a primal split anymore. Hold on very long, no, two minutes. Now the smoke play with Nana and Jet. This is where they have to play very active role in ganking around, creating space for the do so. All in on the Mushi. Bottom lane. And they? Can they kill the Omni Knight? Ward down, TP coming at epicenter as well. Going in straight, who do they go for? Onto Pylodai, it's gonna completely win! Pylodai is okay! And Tinker coming in, keeping the creep wave alive. Our bet's gonna start going with revenge. The hook shot from behind Nana. Looks like he's ended up going down. Never mind, he swaps his teammate. 
Primal Spit's gonna be used. Who do you wanna try and kill here? Barrel Strike, they wanna try and kill the Clockwork with the Purification. You're gonna be keeping him alive. Nana going for the Magic Missile. They really wanna get the kills, but they can't find anything. All these spells being thrown out. So just gonna get cycloned up, but the Primal Spit's about to expire. They don't have anything else left in the tank. And just like that, Mineski looking, they needed to make that kill with the Epicenter combo, but because it's with Fnatic with the great placement, position placement immediately. Good stuff from Pylida. He didn't die the whole time. He actually survived through that. Just the corner base, just the purification nuke. What a game and what a what a juke. Now Ben Knocker start to split the map up. Right, let's go Envy. Yes, so he knows that he can shred heroes up very quickly. Nana is trying to build his brain too. Fighting items early on. Ice as well having a tough time. Omni Nine is level 10. No surprise, right? I mean, this guy's had basically a free lane to himself, looking to go into a Yo Scepter, then Ether Lens. Sorry, I can't see because the mic's blocking like one part of the screen at the bottom right. But, alright, so. The way this game. It's not like Mineski out of it just yet. It's a 3000 gold advantage at 13 minutes in. Mineski still have the heroes to defend high ground. They still have the heroes to come back from this. Place a lot of emphasis onto. Who else still opt to go for that Mask of Madness? Top lane DJ. He's found the dragon. Battery assault now. He's gonna find Ninja Boogie. Hookshot dropping him inside the cogs. Call DJ the Dragon Slayer. Alright, easy kill. Bottom lane still, very little that this Brewmaster can do to stifle the lane pressure. NV is ready, who needs it? Top lane, looks like DJ will actually pay for his sins here. He can farm the cogs together. Alright, so getting some kills, very easy pick off. Bit of relief at least. In terms of the net worth distribution, they're doing okay. They're not too shabby. Side of Mineski, everyone's kind of evened out in terms of farm. Compared to the side of Fnatic, where you have three cores that just heavily farmed. Compared to the two supports who are. I know. Not able to afford much. This Omni 9 is so big, he's gonna pick up his own drums as well. Is he right? I'm looking at the wrong curia. He's gonna get his yields in good time. Wyvern just de-warding out, sanking is thinking about initiation, but because of the potential response, Tinker can just take in. He doesn't want to take the risk. Hold and brace, just the heal, just, just, just an extra region. We don't want to waste an epicenter for that. And you find his target, you know, Borrow Strike immediately. Look for the epicenter as well. The Winter's Curse saving Abed! Pylai die. Jabs may actually end up dying here. Do they have do they have enough damage? No, they do not. It actually felt like Moon Nana could have just gone for the swap instead. But... Oh right, there he comes the taxi infest combo. Nana is dead for the count, and DJ and Envy will find themselves a very free pick off in the side. The dire jungle. Arben, you know Boogie can't do anything. He's trying to push this wave out, but Arben with the march, and this wave is dead. Isis, Isis. They, they understand they have to. Main, Ohio, he's okay to tank up jabs. He doesn't care. Level 3 repel already. They're still trying their best to like siege the power. They can't. Maybe they can. Will they take a tier 1 tower just to sort of get a bit of gold? And we're looking for the deny. Okay, he does get the tower deny. He's, he's just standing in the front lines. He doesn't actually care. We know infest. Why not, right? We're going for Helbert first. Bottom lane, they want to commit here for Ohio. No epicenter though. Barrage deck with the repel, very quick reflexes. Can't swap this guy as well. Yes, they can. Alright, an angel's gonna be used, the TP coming in. Macro is gonna fly out. But it's completely wasted. Missile. One's gonna take a heat second rocket to his backside, but the range drop absorbs the bulk of the damage. Alright, trying to get some hits here onto Mushi, but over not too far behind. Trying to jump here into DJ, they can't even kill the supports.
So what do you do? You can't kill heroes unless you're like bring free to kill one. Fanatic are okay with that kind of trade as long as the rest of the cores are like farming up. It's about opportunity cost at this point. When Medusa is catching up in terms of cost, Mask of Madness, you declare the triple aim attack. Second in terms of net worth, can the, Mu can the Mushi do so? Drew will actually end up going for Vladimir's offering, no Midas, no Greed. At this point is 4 protect 1. Everyone save Mushi. She is everything. Go Dasha. Manta style. This is where we enter the you know that debate again, right? Like Manta style and Dusa is a shit item, but you know, I I don't think so. I think it's good. You need these early items to at least scale better. Jabs looking for Ohio and as well. The folk shot's gonna be there. Ice path. Ohio's gonna be healing himself up. Prime gonna be used cycling up the Yami Knight, but now it looks like nice getting Earth kind of stun onto Eternal Envy. It's gonna chase after Nana. Nah, Jabs is already dead to Arbet. The missile's flying around. Arbet of the double kill. And alright, they can just chase after the Earth Panda, cycling up into the air, but Earth Panda is definitely dead. And at this point, oh, Ice, Ice, Ice can't even kill DJ. The save from the Omni Knight. And he's just gonna TP out with style under their noses. Nothing they can do, but still, that's a huge loss right there. Huge commitment and Smoke Gang completely thwarted. Hello, they found more. Dragon? Never mind. Right, so now Fnatic can start to push for another tier 1 tower. They should be able to take this 8 to 7. Gold advantage still flying Fnatic's way. Fortification will be used for the tier 1. Map control slowly disappearing. Looks like DJ may have found Ice Ice Ice. Never mind, Rakupai will be used to sort of like push the creep wave back. But I think that's gonna be much use. The didn't eyes out, just making sure that you know, Ninja Boogie doesn't get the creeps for that matter, so Eternal Envy. Stopping up that fragments of the EXP. Radiance top tower is under attack. They want to go for it, they're waiting for it here. See the ward, can take care of it. Hi, your next item will build into oh, Sanj. Okay. Sanji Yasha? I don't even know. But this has become strangely one-sided. I'm not sure why. But Fnatic, all right. Dan, they will know that there's a hero there. Price size, size. They use the fortification once again. Macapai going to be laid out. I want to try and catch the tanker, but can they? I mean, Mushi he just you know he, he just pops the mana shield, walks out. Nana as well, next item going for a Shadow Blade. Middle lane, they use the illusions. Just want to get the tier 1 tower, nice and easy, yeah. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Okay, so a bit of a rough call. Tier 1 tower coming when we fall. And Mineski will not contest the tower, they don't want to defend. The only thing they can do right now is just try and split hope that Medusa farms up as quickly as possible. Manta style on. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. And Anna's even farming up the enemy jungle. That's how desperate he is for farm. The distribution is not very good. It's not favoring them. Dead. One kill. Going under the enemy tower, but they're very desperate. They want Pi like that. You made him very desperate. If the epicenter, they will get Pi. Albert's gonna do whatever he can. Throw some missiles up, but that's all they're gonna do. Ohio chasing after Mushi. TP out. TP reaction. So this way, you know, Mineski get away with at least one cheeky kill under the tier 1 tower. Well, as that is happening, you know, Albert's just farming up around the map. Dag- Oh, Aghanim Scepter on the way. I thought he was going to be the Dagon. I saw the- Oh yeah, I saw the Staff of Wizardry. Point of fact. DJ looking for an infest combo with the Clockwork. First strikes away. Hookshot's going to completely miss. Jabs. What? Styling on- Fnatic. They will use the primal split. Found the Omni Knight. Can they kill him here? No, Omni Knight's way too tanky. This is not the hero you're looking for. Okay, this is the part where he walks back in and now he has a Sanji and Yasha. Look at him go. 4-5-2 move his feet. I mean, nothing wrong here. 
I'll bet it will not commit. Yo, up to up in the air. He's found a hero with the repel ninja boogie. Purification nuke. All right. I mean, Ohio at this point. Carrying Fnatic on his back saying that, all right, guys, I'm done playing Shaker. Now that I'm Omni-9, I'm the real carry now. Or maybe he's a selection select fanboy. Maybe that's what's happening here. Fan of the best Omni-9 in the world. Kappa. Try and go on here. Well, we can't really find anyone just yet, can they? Backstab is coming. DJ coming in from the back. Fnatic are actually starting to loop around. Could find Mushi and looks like they actually will. Stone Gaze will be popped. Purification. Repel's gonna be there. Winter's curse has to trap Mushi in place. Do they have anything to stop his TP? Hope Shot's gonna be there as well. He can burn all his mana out and they're actually just gonna kill him. They're gonna racket him down so quickly. And down goes Mushi. Big commitment and move. Anna's still trying to farm up the enemy jungle, get whatever gold he can. TP straight to the top shrine. Fnatic are happy with that. They got a big kill. A very big kill. And you're talking about someone who's second on the network chart. With the bottom lane, jabs. And Arbet just trading. Ooh, what? The okay, Ohio's just bullying Ninja Boogie at this point. And that's for the previous game where the Bane and the in the Boom Master cheekiness was going on. Right, looks like he's looking for a bit more use up to up into the air again. Do they have to stun? Do they the cogs? Primal Split's gonna be there. Trap DJ, this is a very desperate primal split with the defensive one being used. And it looks like the pandas may actually end up dying. Oh, pandas can run back into the base. If you get some both the other spirit pandas down. And Fnatic can just tank using Winter's Cold Embrace. They will keep the creep alive and take themselves a tier 2 tower. Fnatic, they can feel the qualification for the summon 8 coming closer and closer. They can smell it. They will go for a tier 2 tower. At this point, Ohio cannot be stopped. He will go into a BKB. Yeah, I'm just doing a pressure on the bottom lane, but will this all be for naught? Basket Man is a Manta style and not the items you're looking for on a Dusa, which you invested so much net worth on. Right. Alright. Yep, right kicks him down, gets the purification nuke off. He's like, alright, you're in a fight, let's go. Round two. Hookshot coming in. They have the cogs as well. Can they push him away? Stone gates will be popped by, you know, popping the guardian angel. They don't actually care. Envy's just facing his backside to Mushi. So he's laying out a casual part. But okay. Cycling up into the air. Mushi, goodbye, sir. Let's swap out. Nana. Trying for the epicenter to save his teammate, but no, he blinks out right now. Lots of spells being thrown defensively, but it looks like Nana will end up being the sacrificial lamb. We have a rocket flare in three seconds. Nana's just gonna just hold his ground. With the march gets out on 15 HP. Omni Knight just casually diving the enemy base, getting himself one kill, which would be Ninja Boogie one more time. He wasn't happy about getting Nightmare to be the night creeps, you know. All right, they know Nana's there. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Two heroes dead. And is it just me? But Maneski are falling apart. I was. I did not see this coming at all. Fnatic looking ever so strong. It's November, the year 2017, and Fnatic, after very lackluster performances, they are back. Buffling Neski on their way to the summit 8. This is the way I see it. She's still farming up. The game is still not completely lost just yet, but look at the gold graph. 10,000 never left Fnatic's way. And they just had such good lanes. Pinker lane was immediately won for our band. Now you now you know why this Nana the Shadow Blade looking for those picks. Even then I still don't think he can kill Pile I Die on this winter wyvern. Alright, there it goes. They will try to pressure this tier 1 tower a bit. They might even think about diving under the tower, but Arbet's coming in. Oh, third is the scout. They have a sentry. They don't, know, they don't know about it. They don't know about us. The swap out from Nana. Winter's Curse is going to be used. They've caught two. Mushi was too concentrated on the tier 1 tower. Primal Split's going to be used. They want to kill Arbet, but the repel, he's okay. 
They will get Nana. Nana looks like he should be dying here. Envy still gonna be on the hunt. They pop the stone gates here. Mushi wants to help his team disengage, turning everyone to stone. The purification, keeping DJ alive. They can't kill anyone. Can Mineski ever kill anyone? Alright, so just like that, they're looking for more. Wanna find the Brewmaster, but he will be taunting his way. I mean, that's all he can do at this point, right? Just taunt. But Envy, he's nowhere near done. He's like, hello, guys. I, I found him. Never mind. Doesn't want to overcommit. Even Envy's afraid of being. What teamwork here coming up from Fnatic and great repel to keep the Tinker alive the whole time so that he couldn't get locked down. And if he died there, it would have been a very different fight. But Ohio's still on the hunt though. Ooh, ooh. BKB, you know, he, this guy is never afraid. Harry Omni Knight, guys. Works. Coming to you in your next pub. Now they'll push for the tier 2 tower, taking the last of the outer towers standing for the dire side. As Fnatic will look to try and just pressure Mushi a tiny bit. Got a bit still up there, trying for the whole shot. Once again, it's gonna completely miss. The missiles will fly out anyways. Can he kill Jabs off here? Ohio's gonna go for this. He's gonna put Ninja Boogie. He doesn't actually care. Envy's gonna rack him down with the rage. He does okay. Yep, then I'm gonna try to swap into the tier 3 tower, but Envy will end up dying. Never mind, the infest is there. They cannot kill anyone, like I said. No one here shall die today. This is where Omni Knight things come into play. What do you do with your Mineski? Nana will try for a flank maneuver. He's gonna to try to pincer them off. He's gonna try and cut them off. But Ohio and Envy are already there. They're one step ahead. No, they're two steps ahead. Can they kill Ohio? I'm not sure if they can. They go for the bar strike with the magic missile. Maybe they can finally can, but the BKB in the nick of time. He's not dying here, and they wanna go back in. Drunken Haze. Envy says thanks for the coke, and that's it. Jabs, they want to go for the bar strike here. They found the Omni Knight. Winter's Curse going to be used. He's okay. Guardian Angel going to be popped. He's going to start right clicking away. Stone Gates going to be popped defensively. Primal Spit. They're going to chase after for these kills, but they can't do anything. They can't kill anyone. Like I said, Arben needs to blink out. Yes, he will. And they just can't do anything. The cocks to push them out of stun, but that's it. What, is that? what else? Is that all? And it go back to going for the tier 2 tower. All these big spells being thrown out from the side of Mineski. This is. Oh, this is so sad. Cannot do anything and jabs. But the Tinker, he's okay. They're picking him out. Oh no, blinks away all the way to the north. He's gonna blink out again one more. Oh, jabs! They found it! Epicenter's gonna be thrown as well with the magic missile. Looks like Arbit will actually end up dying here. And yes, will they finally kill him off? Blink out, what? No way. Okay, never mind. He actually ends up dying. Killing Spree going to Nana is a huge commitment across the map, but still worth it. Those steps up into the air. Do they actually want to go here into Mushi? I don't think they have the heroes at the moment with three of them. So Nana looking for a pick off. This is one part where they have to summon all that experience. Try and somehow turn this game around. He sees Pylai die, but he will walk all the way into the trees instead. We're looking for Nana. But actually think about this, do they still want to go for this? Jeez, they are looking for it. Zank is coming back to get the stun up. Ice and is there as well. Pilai die, Winter's Curse is going to come out. Pilai die is actually going to be okay. It takes them so long just to kill one hero. I do fear for Mineski, I mean one step at a time, right? One hero at a time, one hero kill at a time. Alright, so... Rack of high being thrown on. This is on. Like this is just rinse and repeat for Ninja Boogie at this point. Having to the big center being thrown out from jabs every single time. He hasn't had the right opportunity. The thing is, this Omni Knight just does way too much at this point. Mushi will climb to the top of the net with Viscardi, but will it be enough to carry his team? Omni Knight is just so big. Shiva's got on the way as well. He can just chase after all these heroes. You, you saw he dived all the way to the tier three tower just to take the Jug and Jakiro kill. Mushi, next item, perhaps a butterfly. He needs he needs damage at this point. Perhaps an MKB. Albert realizes that without the Omni Knight, he's not unkillable. Alan's just doing his best to farm up his next item, whatever it may be. Pai's had a great game so far. Hard to kill. Face boots, ethyl lens. That's why his cast range is so, so point. 
Fnatic in this room on DJ. They could be thinking about jumping Mushi here, but if they want to, that's the question. Might even jump to the back instead for the Sand King. Other bit coming out. Nana, they know they have Sentry there. Going for Mushi. Okay, so what is that? Well, it was like 32 minutes in when he had two kills, quick map, but I don't know. It feels. Like Fnatic right now, the game is just theirs to lose. They've only lost tier 1 towers, they still have the tier 2. And we have a Deso Halberd, this guy's hot kill. We'll have to go into an MKB upon to do so. Don't exactly have the best of control for this life stealer. Venture Spirit will head to the bottom lane, look for some, perhaps some kills. Or a kill, if you can find a pick. Middle lane, Ohio. Oh, they found one. The Jakiro again. Uh, this right there is the Game of Thrones next season opening, man, guys. One dragon's gonna die. Spoiler alert. Just kidding. But now that because of that, they will go into the Roshan. And I don't think Vineski actually have the heroes to deal with this. Unless, of course, you have jabs going into some big steals. They will smoke up, going straight to the Rosh pit. Rosh is not falling quick enough. They still might be able to make it. Yep, blinking in right now, going straight into DJ, they want to kill him off, popping the Primal Split, if they can kill the DJ off first, Winter's Curse, saving the Clockwork with Cold Embrace, Repel, and the Purification, Guardian Age is going to be there, nice Stone Gaze, what next, what else is left, is that all? Never mind, Ohio, they're going to slowly right click him down, can they do it? And over the back, DJ, oh dear, oh dear, Ohio popping the BKB, Mushi may actually end up dying here, Eternal Envy chomping away, onto Eternal Envy, onto Mushi, sorry. And with the lasers, they will bring him down. Epicenter brush strike onto two, but that's about it. As where they finally kill off one. No, they cannot. They just can't kill him. They will finally kill the Omni Knight on the toggle, maybe. Never mind. Two heroes are dead. Both the, all the cores are down. The battle will continue. And Abed going ahead. He's gonna get the Jakiro as well. Right click away. Triple kill for Abed. Four heroes dead on Mineski. Fnatic will win that team fight very convincingly. All it took was for the Abed hex to come into play. That's going to be a very even gold swing, but who cares, right? With all these heroes dying on the side of Mineski, big win for Fnatic, 4 for 2. <laughs> Alright, on a Hexus just sanking, she's gonna keep going, get the Hex out again perhaps. Hexus is gonna slowly right click this guy away. He actually almost got the kill as well. That was close. But that's just, just how scary it is right now for the Tinker. If you're Mineski, you're very worried. It, it took you so long to kill DJ, who has pipe. You get the Omni Knight behind with the Winter Wyvern. You're such annoying heroes. Okay, so... BKB coming up onto Nana. Setwolf is slowly climbing, but he's... It's not a farming hero compared to like Eternal Envy on the Lifestealer. Meanwhile, I'm going for Roshan. Alright. Easy pick, Golden pick, Chasu pick. Just like that, Eternal Envy will find himself the Aegis, the secondary life to perhaps break high ground at last on the Dire base. And Mineski, they know that on the clock. Bushi's out of time. At this point, they've bought him as much time as they could have possibly bought. Not even Fallout Gaming could buy this much time or even more time for Mushi. They'll try. They will try. Repel, you know, NV is not too worried about this. The tower's actually almost down. Nana thinking about swap, but you don't want to use it onto the Aegis target. Maybe the Brewmaster, how do you jump this? Everyone else at the back is smoked out with the Rage. Travel the tower, actually hold on, trying for the swap initiation. Ohio, can you kill him off? The Cold Embrace is there. Nice, Cold Embrace, catching two heroes. Go over the back, Promise trying to go into Pile, I die. Can he actually kill anything off here? Once again, they just can't kill anything. Abed's gonna get cycling up into the air. Looking for the Stone Cave, can he kill Abed now? Guardian just gonna be popped up, hooks up to the back, trying to kill off. Actually, it jabs, but never mind, Mushi will kill Abed, so that's a big kill. Abed will buy back, trying to go back in right now. They know the NB has the ages, they wanna keep on going. Using that Halberd, trying to kill onto the Medusa, but the Medusa doesn't have enough right click. Not strong. 
If the Hex Ventures Bridge should end up going down here to Arben. And Envy still has the Aegis after all of this. Killing everyone all they can. They know that Ice Ice is at the back line. Can they kill Ice Ice Ice? They have another Hex. And the TP, yeah, do they have a stun? Yo steps up into the air. Ice Ice Ice. Long live Ice Ice Ice. Rip. Rest in pieces. Rest in shame. No taunts will save you this game. Radiance bottom tower has fallen. The bottom tier 2 will fall for the dire side. Just a consolation prize. What was happening here? And with that, they may actually force out the Brewmaster buyback. Very easy tier 3 tower. Probably even the melee barracks as well. They put on the sentry. What can they do? Return and be happy to stand into this. He has to infest. Okay, cool. <laughs> Did he just laser the creep which Eternal Envy was inside? Ah, Ben. Next level mind games, I guess. Uh, the repel. It's okay to lose the Aegis for this. Attack speed is way too slow. Can they get the kill here? Ice path. Holding brace. Purification. Holding. Oh, Winter's Curse is going to be used just to save it, but it's okay. At this point, why not, right? And they don't lose the Aegis. They do get the almost the melee back just to tear the tower. They don't want to force the issue. So they do hold the racks, that's one of the good things right now. Mushi with the butterfly. And in this game 5, it has not disappointed yet. Mineski refused to cave in. Right, DJ, he's gonna go hit front first, taking points. Alright, using the wave. Hello, they found the vengeful spirit. Benji, 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 Benji. Bye bye, Nana. He's dead, calling the ice path. Actually, maybe not. Okay, yes, he will actually die to up in the end. Now Mushi gonna start right clicking away. He's hitting the ancients at the same time. Hello, fighting under the shrine. Envy thinking about going back in still as the ages. He wants to go for this, but this is where Mineski has to back up. Playing a defensive ice path to try and zone them up. Hookshot's gonna be off the mark. They will go for the shrine instead. So Fnatic happy with this, you know? Still taking some extra gold into their pockets, and Mineski are glad that they did not lose more than just the Vengeful Spirit. He doesn't have buyback right away. To the south, just to get the TP out. And they just won this tier 2 tower, which is almost down, down to 142. Alright, so tier 2 tower to be taken here. Very nice and easy to the Radiant side. Let's look at items for a bit, yeah? Guardi, M.O.M., Manta, Butterfly. Let's look at the cores on Radiant Fnatic. We haven't talked about them yet much. Hex, Hex, I think. Him, BKB. Lifesteal. I mean, he did buy back early on, that's why. So, still the Omelette. Halbert, Deso, Echo Saber, MKB on the way. Smart for some. But they know there's a sentry there. I actually put a Tinker Ward here just in case we're looking out for people who need to contest the tier 2 earlier on. Alright, so what you do now if you're Mineski, just hope for the late game, pray for the best. You can hold as they can just to drag things out to everyone. Pyo going into a Radiance. I'm foreseeing plenty of issues here for Neski. And if you look at Vengeful Spirit, all she has, what Nana has, is a Shadow Blade, a BKB, and Drums. Trying to compete into Hurricane Pike. I mean, that's nice and all, but it's not damage. What they need now is damage. They can't kill anyone quickly at all. They have no nukes. It's all DOTs. Magic Missile is like, a nuke, but it's 325 damage. Maybe you get to like, I don't know, level 20 and level 25, you get the minus 4 second magic missile cooldown and the plus 400 magic missile damage. But at this point, you may actually consider going for the piercing spell immunity. So it's Alan. Alright, just a DC, don't worry. NV will be back. Probably just a toilet break. At this point, after 5 games like this, eventually some. Oh, promising for Fnatic. 
looking so strong and they've come so far 2-0 down to make it 3-2 couldn't have asked for a better storyline here for the grand finals of the summit 8c qualifier and i size size will slowly make his way into Right, come on, pull. Uh, he has to pull something out. I'm not sure what it is. VR, whatever stuff, whatever he needs to motivate himself right now, whatever he needs to bring this team together to motivate the entirety of the team. Pulse wise, they're also so far behind. The eggs coming up in Ohio. This is going to put such a huge dent in Mineski's hopes of even ever winning a team fight because it's a global guardian angel. And then we will reconnect. So, okay. So far, it's been six hours of non-stop casting. I'm okay to go for another hour. I don't I don't actually care. I want to see this game go an entire full mile to see the best order possible right here between these two teams. And Fnatic, they will... They're so close to securing that one lane of barracks. But could it be that Mineski just keep holding and holding until Fnatic actually just can't push? 3500 gold, what does Mushi even go for next? Jabs is just playing the babysitting role, this is all in on, on the Medusa. Medusa needs to pull some super hard as carry. And even if you do go into like, I don't know, even an MKB, you probably want to get rid of the Master Menace to go for Satanic. Unless you do end up deciding thinking you need to find Rapier. So many options. So many thoughts going on. All these doubts, all these worries, all these concerns. Internal Envy is still trying to make his way towards that MKV. Net worth wise, he's kind of stifled, but that's because majority of the vault farm has gone to like Volfio, it's gone to Tinker. Nana just trying to do his best with. Whatever little he had. Ian Ice are struggling to find any farm this game. Hello. Casual power strike looking for wood. Ward at the bottom lane if they can perhaps try to isolate the tank. They're happy. They know that right now, even when an injured beast back into a corner, it will bite back. So just respect out for the Mineski high ground defense which is available. You don't want to throw that lead away. No one wants to be remembered for throwing away in game 5. Mental burden behind that would be... ...much. So yeah, Mushi does end up in the MKP. 400 more gold for buyback. If he actually dies... One... He has time. He can actually slowly farm up into the next items. There is no rush. Fnatic, they know they are the ones that they just need to clear at least one more item each and then they can push the high ground safely and confidently. Nana doesn't have enough of buyback. Courier, I don't actually think so. Yeah, there's nothing in the courier. Just that poor. You know, he's half the net worth of Bushi. That's how far behind because that's how much farm they're investing into it is Medusa. That's how much faith they have in Mushi. Mushi, bad. Alright, so panic. Rid of the quarter staff, extra quarter staff. Join perhaps. Manta style. Fnatic now, for some reason, playing on the defensive, not as aggressive as they were a while ago. DJ will be Envy's taxi. Because Envy doesn't like to walk. They'll be hugging high of the map. Could be it if they can. She kill here, like I said, he doesn't have buyback. He bought the he bought the reaver. Oh no, this could be a force that way. The Winter's Curse will be there. And now this is where they try to fight it. Guardian Angel will be popped. He's gonna try to do whatever record damage he can, but there's no damage is being done. He's throwing snowballs at them. And Mushi may actually end up dying here. Mushi is dead for a hundred seconds. And over the backline, Primal is gonna be used, trying to do their best to buy some time. But Ohio is going to work on Ninja Boogie. Boogie, I'm sure you regret that nightmare now on him in the previous game. 
Yep, Ohio never forgets. And Nana's just gonna walk off. And meanwhile, Fnatic, they've isolated someone. Oh, they've isolated the Brewmaster. Picking up the Earth Panda, hexed up. And down goes Ice, Ice, Ice. He's dead. No buyback on the Brewmaster. No buyback on the Medusa. This is game right here. They can get one lane of barracks even to but over in the top. The Tinker's gonna be there going for the solo kill here onto Jabs. Okay. All right, Jabs. This is just Abed styling on them. The gem is on the floor as well. Immediate buyback from Jabs. And what can they do? Jakiro, even if he buys back, like I said, what can they do? This is it, Fnatic. They have just taken game five. They have two lanes of barracks, potentially even three. Mineski, do they feel confident enough to hold at least for 30 more seconds? Or will they feel okay to fight against Mega Creeps? Be going to work at this tower. They'll try. They'll try to hold. They will try to stall. But this will be the melee barracks going down, potentially four megas here. 10 seconds left, fortification will be forced out. They have no choice, they have to try and hold. Epicenter is going to be channel running, going to go here into Epicenter. But no, with the range dodge! And they mean it, Hex reactions, Jabs! He's messed up, the hook shot. And without Jabs, he already bought back, and that is a die back right there. Now using the stone gates to turn and fight, but Envy's like, um, okay. Never mind, oh, they actually turned him to stone, can he get the kill here? Yes, they can. And it's okay, DJ still gets the tower anyways, the Mega Creeps are there and Mineski will have to acknowledge that they have to play against this huge deficit. 2400 gold swing, Mineski will have to hold on for DLF to try and find. They've caught one hero, it will be Pile I Die. Nana's deck and stun him into Pile I Die. Drop in as well, they want to kill Pile I Die, Winter's Curse. He doesn't have a TP, not for 25 seconds, they can actually definitely get this kill. Space created, he's gonna wait on top of the... Right, hello? 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 Golden Brace? Okay. Macro Fire as well. Just cooking the dragon. This is this is what we call Korean barbecue right there. But it's fine, you know. So now like this, Mineski. Who would have ever seen this coming in a thousand years? That Fnatic would upset from 0 to this. game to lose they have all the win conditions everything in their favor checking off all of those little ch check boxes look at nana he's struggling to find mega creeps this is not the hero who was equipped for this task dusa can try ej what, what do you buy i mean you can buy necro books while you care you can go for you can i don't know you can buy anything else you can buy more wraith bands Mushi has figured out. Okay, he's gonna. He actually sold his boots to go into a Maelstrom. Yeah, I guess this is a creep player. I thought he would have gone for the rapier play. I'm almost disappointed. I mean, if he can hold him for another 10 minutes, why not, right? A time where Bench even wishes that she had, I don't know, a GPM talent, a Midas, something. Poor Bench, Kappa. We'll go straight for the Roshan, the second Roshan of the game, which will have cheese. And Ohio has the eggs, of course, pressure orb on the way. DJ, I mean, why not? He can casually cast that hookshot because he has the eggs. Vineski, they can feel it coming. The end is near. The reign of a new C team, a new C top team is coming in. They did not see this coming. Nobody did. Smoke up trying to go for the play here. Oh, I bet. Does he actually blink it? I don't think you get your Tinker to initiate either. Oh, but Envy does. It's okay. They found Mushi. Can they kill Mushi right here, right now? If Mushi dies, it's all over. It won't even get the Stone Gaze off. And just like that, the swap out. Mushi running to his death, popping the Satanic, trying to hold his ground. The Satanic keeping him alive. The Yosef up into the air. It's okay. He still managed to hold his ground, but he will eventually die for 100 seconds. Epicenter now coming in, but all for naught. Onto two heroes, but where's the damage? Nana gonna try and man fight against the DJ, but with Ohio Omni Knight. One more down, make it three. This is it. Mineski have lost. Fnatic, they have pulled up the upset. The biggest upset in C history right now. Even fountain diving for jabs. 
And this is the end. As Fnatic, they will take the throne. From 0-2 to 3-2, they have done it. What a comeback. Congratulations to Fnatic as they will be the representatives for Southeast Asia at the Summit 8.